travelers, it's Juliana here. Welcome back to my channel. It's just me today. We're gonna sit down, chat, talk about myself, which is really weird. I'm not used to doing this. Uh, normally on this channel, I share a lot about travel facts. I like to keep things very like providing value to you guys. But what I realized is that a lot of you guys don't know anything about me, let's just put it quite honestly. And I've been doing YouTube for almost seven years now. So I figured we're gonna try something new here. We're gonna take down the curtain and show you guys who Juliana is. We're gonna do another video like this with Martine next week, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I also wanted to make an announcement that during the month of December, we are going to be doing two videos per week for you guys. I'm so excited. One video is going to be our typical travel-related content. Another video is going to be related to getting to know us better. So I hope you guys enjoy. But today I'm gonna to be sharing 50 facts about myself, 50. I was able to come up with 50. Um, this was kind of in like celebration of inching closer to 50,000 subscribers. We're almost there. We're just like a couple thousand away, which I can't believe first off, huge life dream goal come true. Um, but anyway, 50 facts about me, enough rambling. Let's get started. Number one, I've lived in a few different places, Northern California, Mexico, Chile, and Washington. Number two, I love to tap dance and I did it for 16 years growing up. I have to toot my own horn, I was pretty good and I miss it every day. Why don't they have more tap dancing for adults? Yeah. <laughs> Number three, I was a theater kid. Are we surprised? I was in 21 musical theater productions growing up. Number four, I was Miss California for National American Miss and I did pageants for 11 years. Pageants are awesome and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. <laughs> Number five, I drive a 1999 Toyota Camry. It is old, it is crusty, but I've never been one to really be about flashy possessions and it does the job. I used to drive a Prius, but it was technically my parents' car, so they use it. Uh, and I'm left with the 1999 Toyota Camry. Number six, I graduated high school with a 4.0 GPA. I was very into academics. I did a lot of AP classes in high school and where I grew up, GPA was like, a status symbol <laughs> and I, I didn't even have nearly the highest GPA at my high school. There was somebody with like a 4.6. Number seven, I studied international business and marketing as my major and Spanish as my minor at Gonzaga University. That's why I lived in Washington for a bit. Number eight, in high school, the languages I took were Spanish and Chinese. <laughs> I took Chinese for two years, Spanish for all four years. Spanish was my favorite. Chinese is very difficult because most of my classmates were native speakers, which made it very hard to like keep up with things. Number nine, I was diagnosed with ADHD at the age of 27. Uh, this was kind of recent and it explains so much, um, but I'm not gonna get into that too much. Number 10, I am a Swifty. I am the biggest Taylor Swift fan and I have been since before all you other people hopped on the bandwagon. Like in high school, I loved her. I love every single album. I feel like a lot of people are hopping on the bandwagon and I'm weirdly becoming a gatekeeper because I know so much about her, but whatever. Number 11, I only watch trashy reality TV or The Office. There's like no in between. I just hop from reality show to reality show. Uh, I used to love Amazing Race. I watched all the circle. I love that show. Um, right now I'm really into RuPaul's Drag Race. That one has been lasting me probably over a year. I've seen every season of All Stars and the regular one in the US and I'm starting all the international ones. And then I also started Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. So that's my taste. It's really something that I can just numb my brain to while I watch. <laughs> Number 12, I'm 27 years old. My birthday is March 8th anybody cares. <laughs> and I was born on a Air Force base. That's kind of a fun fact. Number 13, I do accountability calls with my best friend Irene every Sunday for the past two years. This one I'm gonna have to explain a bit. I've known Irene since I was in kindergarten. First off, that girl's amazing. Two years ago at the start of the pandemic, she had an idea that to hold ourselves accountable to goals, maybe we should meet once a week, talk about our goals, how they went last week, how they're, what our goals are for the next week. 
And this has been one of the greatest things and I'm so lucky to have a friend that keeps me so motivated. I don't know how I would function without these calls. Number 14, my favorite exercise classes are bar and Pilates. Number 15, I'm introverted. I wasn't always introverted. I'd say in high school, I was extremely extroverted. Something in me changed in college and I am now definitely an introvert. I get overstimulated when I'm around too many people and I really, really appreciate time by myself. Number 16, I don't watch sports, any sport. I don't understand sports and uh, I'm married to somebody who is addicted to sports. So <laughs> it's just, just kind of turned out that way. My favorite thing about myself is my creativity and that I'm very goal driven. Anything I put my mind to, I will like not give up on. Hence why I'm on YouTube still for seven years. Number 18, my least favorite thing about myself. I have two. One, I can't sit still, and two, I have a really hard time listening. <laughs> Number 19, I am a Pisces. True and true. I am a crybaby dreamer. That is the best way to describe myself. Number 20, I collect coasters. We have a huge collection. Um, they're all from different places around the world. And this is my favorite one. It's a wooden one. It's from Chiang Rai, and I love it. Number 21, growing up, I went to a private Catholic school for the first nine years, and then I switched to a public high school for the last three years. Number 22, I live in California, right outside of Sacramento. Number 23, my favorite food is pizza. Just regular cheese or cheese with pineapple. I'm one of those. Number 24, I am obsessed with Trader Joe's and my favorite things to get there are the blueberry vanilla goat cheese, the almond croissants, the gnocchi, or the butter chicken. Number 25, one of me and Martine's favorite activities to do together since we've moved to the US is go to TJ Maxx and Target. We both love those stores and that is like a typical date night. <laughs> Number 26, I keep a monthly budget. I have for years. I'm very meticulous on writing down every single thing we spend money on and like having a savings goal. Number 27, I actually work full time outside of YouTube. I have a 40 hour a week job. And with YouTube, I'd say that a typical week is maybe another 20 hours. So I pretty much work like 60 hours a week. And this isn't for you guys to give me a pat on the back or anything, but I do work a lot. I spend a lot of time at the desk. <laughs> Number 28, my real job, and speaking of all this, is I'm a technical support engineer for a tech company. It's a weird story how I started off, but I first started off as a travel agent for a startup. Company got acquired, long story, but now I found myself in the tech world. Never thought I'd end up here, but it's a very fun uh, job and I find myself always building new things related to travel. I love it. I work in the travel division of the company and big projects that we're working on right now is building a travel tool for employees to be able to expense their corporate travel. So very fun. Basically my whole life revolves around travel, which I love. <laughs> Number 29, all of my best friends live far away. I don't have any friends where we live, which sucks, uh, but it's always been that way my whole life. Uh, I always feel like Little pieces of me are all around the world. Number 30 is kind of ironic because I've listed a couple favorites already in this video, but one fun fact about me is I typically do not have a single favorite of something. Martine always makes fun of me because it's very hard for him to be able to like surprise me with my favorite things because my favorite things change on a daily basis. So just know that. Probably anything I say as a favorite in this video could change next week. Number 31, I met Martine while we were working on a cruise ship which is a story that's gonna be in another video coming up later this month. Number 32, I've had a couple of other odd jobs as well. I was a Lyft driver for a while, which was so fun. I also worked in special education in a high school. And in college, I had three jobs at once, one of which was being the Mongolian walk girl in the school cafeteria. Like people would bring up their veggies and meat and I would like walk it up for them. <laughs> Number 33, I have an obsession with skincare and makeup. I, it's pretty much all I watch on YouTube is that. I have so much makeup. There's like an entire half of my desk drawers are dedicated to makeup. I only ever wear it on camera for you guys, but I'm, I'd love to just hear reviews, try out products. It's so fun. Number 34, I have seven hard drives worth of footage from the past few years on YouTube and they're all in my closet. So any memory I have, even from when I was 
first starting off this channel is on a hard drive somewhere. Number 35, Tourist to Local started off as a blog. That was like the first thing. I thought I was gonna be a blogger. Had that when I went to go study abroad and then I realized video is my passion. So I stopped doing the blog and now here we are. Number 36, since I've moved into an apartment with Martine, I've started a garden, a vegetable garden. I'm currently growing onions, celery, and basil, and they're all dying. So any tips are greatly appreciated. I think I, I am killing them all with too much water, so. But I would really, really like to have like a full vegetable garden at some point. Number 37, I love to cook. I'm the one who primarily cooks in the house and I, I love it. It is a great way for me to de-stress. I love any kind of cooking. Baking is probably my favorite, but I don't do it as often as I wish. Number 38, I have a film studio set up in the garage of my parents' house, and I never use it. I've used it for like maybe two videos, but they were kind enough to have me, to let me set up a little like screen, do a little backdrop or whatever. Uh, I need to go over there more and use it. That was before we got this apartment and before we realized we were gonna have this beautiful space. Number 39, I am the shortest person in my family, which is kind of funny because I'm five foot nine and a half. My dad is six foot six inches, my mom is five foot ten, and my sister is five foot ten or maybe even taller. So yeah, I'm the short one. <laughs> Number 40, and speaking of my sister, I have a sister. She lives in San Francisco at the moment. She is studying to be a journalist and she is six years younger than me. Number 41, I have scoliosis. <laughs> it sucks. I feel like I'm giving you guys my whole medical history here, but I do have scoliosis. I uh, didn't realize it was so bad until I went to go work on a cruise ship and I had to do the whole medical thing. Took an x-ray and yeah, I have like a 21, 21 degree curve or something. But yeah, S curve gang in the house. <laughs> Number 42, more things about my family. My mom was a flight attendant. So uh, was my uncle as well as my grandma. So we have a long history of travel there. And my dad was in the Air Force. Number 43, I taught YouTube and like how to do video stuff to both my husband and my mom. They are also YouTubers. <laughs> Number 44, I've been to 38 countries. Number 45, in high school, I used to wear glasses without the lenses and bring my Rubik's Cube to class. I don't know what I was doing, but it's so cringy. Number 46, I didn't date anyone until I was 19, so. And I also never dated anyone for over a year until I met Martine. Number 47, if I could live anywhere in the world, it would be Puerto Vallarta. We already know this, I'm obsessed. And the goal is to build a house there in like four or five years. Number 48, my favorite country I ever have been to is either Mexico, Brazil, or Thailand. Once again, you know, I have trouble with favorites, so I have to give you three. Number 49, my family has two pets. It's Chanel, she's a gray cat, and Ella, who's a golden retriever. Even though they don't live with me, I see them all the time, and they're the sweetest animals ever. I like both dogs and cats, but I have to say, I lean a little bit more towards being a cat person which is the opposite of Martine. <laughs> and number 50, I've been on YouTube for seven years. I wasn't that consistent though, especially in the beginning. I just kind of post whenever I wanted. I only really started to become very consistent, I'd say like January of 2020. Those are 50 facts about me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You got to get to know me a little bit better. I'm gonna bring Martine in and he's gonna film a video for you guys next week that's gonna be out. Hope you guys enjoyed these. If you do, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in our next video. So long, travel well, and make the world your neighborhood. Bye. Curious what camera gear we use while traveling? Want to rock some of our awesome merch? Or maybe you just want a discount with some of our favorite companies? Make sure to check out the description of this video for links to all these things and more.